Hello, my name is Gabrielle Jones, and today I'm going to be talking about feeding my starving children. This, this is my guest, my audience, Anaya. First, I would like to talk a little about the background. It all started when Richard Prophet heard God say, if you've seen my starving children, feed them. This all started in 1987 when he began working to develop an effective and nutritious meal formula. The packaged dry meals, costing less than a quarter each to make, are funded and assembled by donor volunteers in the United States. FMSC believes hope starts with food. As a Christian nonprofit, they are dedicated to seeing every child whole and body and spirit. The meals are developed by food science and nutrition professionals to supplement nutritional needs and reduce problems within malnutrition. Nutrition allows children to grow, thrive, and develop to their full potential. Here I have a picture of what the three meals they use and what it looks like after it has been packed and sealed and ready to ship away. Each meal packet contains 6 to 12 servings, depending on the food formula. The Manipak rice is the original food formula that consists of vitamin pack flavoring, dry vegetables, soy, protein, and rice. The Manipak potato W is the baby food, and its standards are for infants 7 to 12 months of age. It contains vitamin pack sweet potato flavoring, and soy flour. Man and Pack Potato D is the first and only food for people with severe diarrhea, which is a leading killer in the developing world. It contains a specific sweet potato flavored vitamin mix, which is for rehydration and soy flour. Now you're probably wondering what is the approach and how is all of this getting done? Well, donations are given by people just like you that fund the meal ingredients. We have volunteers that handpack the meals, and we also have donors that donate through the website. Meals are donated to food partners around the world where kids are fed and lives are saved. There are some people who think the organization uses machines to package up the food, but in all reality, they have volunteers that come in the, to help pack the food by hand. Feed My Seven Children travels throughout the entire country just to have volunteers come in. So if you wanted to volunteer, you would have to go to the website and see when you come to the city that's near you, and you just sign up from there. As mentioned before, Feed My Starving Children doesn't just have volunteers. They also have donors who invest in this process. Each meal consists less than 25 cents, so it's not expensive at all. More than 91% of total donations are spent directly on meal production, and they consistently receive the highest awards for integrity and trustworthiness. Here I have different ways you can donate your money to help out the children in need. For instance, $88 feeds a child for a year. $365 feeds a family for a year. You could donate either by card or by bank. And you could do it once or you could even do it monthly. And if you have any problem with any of those numbers, you can always just type in how much you want to donate and send it in. Feed My Starving Children have distribution partners. They donate meals to an exceptional network of missions and humanitarian organizations who work with Feed My Starving Children to get a life savings nutrition into the hands and tummies of those who need it the most. Since Feeding My Starving Children is a Catholic nonprofit organization, they focus on prayer at the end of the day. They believe prayer protects the food and they invite volunteers to pray over the food that they have just packed. The staff gathers around to pray for each loaded container before it leaves the docks. 
By God's grace, more than 99% of all the meals have arrived safely at their intended destination for those to eat. You're probably thinking to yourself, since it's a Christian organization, that they discriminate against other religions. Well, in reality, they don't. They welcome all faith because it's not about what God you worship. It's about feeding the children and getting nutrition to those who need it the most. If you guys want to know more about Feed My Starving Children, just go to the website that I have here, or you can call the number that I have down at the bottom for any further questions or information you might think of.